The city of Newton and the Green Decade Coalition are challenging residents to go solar with the Solar Challenge. This week, Justin Schreer shares with us how it works and how it can benefit you. On March 21st at the Village Bank in West Newton, community activists from Green Decade, solar installers in Village Bank presented a PowerPoint presentation and answered questions from the public about the Newton Solar Challenge. It's a private, public, and community collaboration to help homeowners to put solar panels on their, on their roof. The goal of the Newton Solar Challenge is to strengthen the amount of solar panel ownership in the greater Newton area. Two of the main installers whom the challenge is working with are Sunlight Solar Energy and Blue Selenium Solar. Solar doesn't have to be this, you know, this negative change on your life. Solar energy is, is good for the earth and great for your wallet. So it helps reduce your carbon footprint. It allows you to be more resilient. The Village Bank, a local financial institution, is also offering options, including a fixed solar loan. What's great about it is it's a very simple process, um, application, um, we pull a credit report and if they meet certain criteria, they get a 10 year um, loan fixed at five and a half percent. There's no cost, no closing costs, no fees. All are working together to make it as easy as possible for interested residents to obtain solar power. To break it down, some of the ways you can save are through a state tax credit up to $1,000, through a 30% federal tax credit, through SREC credits, which are credits based on the kilowatts you produce annually, and solar loans. I spoke to one homeowner who said that the impact he would make on the environment, along with the money he would save in the long run, was a decision maker. You know, just environmentally, we, I thought it would be better for us, if we could, to use renewable energy instead of um, uh, you know, fossil fuel. Um, so we looked at the financial implications and we looked at how much savings and when it, we'd break even and things like that. And it was really a no brainer. But of course it wasn't enough to just talk about solar energy. I wanted to see how it was going to be installed. So like the intrepid reporter that I am, I climbed on top of a house in Newton with sunlight solar energy to take a look at the installation process. And as I found out, the process is pretty simple. All that is needed in the inside of your house is a converter. I'm about 40 feet up in the air and the guys from Sunlight Solar Energy are installing these brackets that the solar panels will be attached to tomorrow. And when these solar panels are up and running, well, they'll be taking the energy from the sun and they'll be turning that into power. So whether you're looking to save some extra cash or the environment, solar power looks to be a new and innovative way for the citizens of Newton to give back. In Newton, I'm Justin Schreer for Newton News. All right, well, there you have it, all harnessed up, and I got up safely and I got down safely. Jen, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Justin. There are two upcoming seminars for those interested in learning more about Newton's Solar Challenge on Wednesday, April 8th at 7 p.m. at the Emerson Community Center in Upper Falls, and on Sunday, April 12th at 4 p.m. at the West Suburban YMCA. Again, more information is available online at newtonsolarchallenge.com.